All right, guys, we're in the RC car room, and uh, I got the MP10TE all put together. There's still a few upgrades that I want to do to the car that I'm um, waiting on, or I'm probably just going to take the parts off the old truggy. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into that in a second. But first, let's just get a quick look at the car the way it is right now. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys check the car out. Um, like I said, we got it for the most part, you know, all assembled. I'm gonna walk you through the electronics that I'm gonna be using, and then we'll put it all together in the next video. We'll try to find the time to go hit the track. Like I said, it's been raining a lot, so it, it might take a week or two. But anyway, let's get to it. But here's the kit all assembled. Um, I didn't really have any issues. The only issue that I had with the kit, putting the kit together, is um, this brace, like I said, it's really, it seems like it's just a little bit short. I know you're, you're not going to be able to see it, but if you can kind of focus right there, I had to put like a shim that, you know, they use on the, um, to shim the control arms. It's just one like the, or the hubs, my bad. It's just a little plastic shim. I took a whole reamer and reamed it out, but yeah, it, at stock length, even if you don't tighten this all the way down, like I said, if you just put it flush, it will still, you know, pulling the car together, which I didn't really care for. Uh, so just putting that little shim right there, you know, it kind of made it a neutral. So like it would thread down in there without having to like squeeze the car together and do some weird stuff. So, but yeah, that was the only issue as far as, you know, putting the kit together. Uh, like I said, we have the titanium screws in here. Um, I need to get some... Oh, focus. Man, I need a camera. I need to get some longer bolts for the front right here. Uh, kind of ran out of them. Just so I can put the uh, the nylon nut on the back side. And like right here, like always, I can't remember what they call these things, but they're just uh, aluminum washers, I'm guessing. But they have like a like, nice bev you know, beveled end to it. It just makes it look, it makes it look complete. You don't have like a hole, and I also put them on the end right here, but like I said, I'm still waiting on those to come in. And the titanium turnbuckles, like I said, they're from Lunkford. Um, probably not going to order another set of those. I'm just going to take them off the other car. I don't need two electric truggies, guys. <laughs> I barely get to run as it is. But yeah. The kit went together extremely well, just like, you know, what you'd expect from Kyosho. I'm hoping down the line, once we get the track in the yard, you know, the track in the backyard all up and running, I can buy some other cars and compare them and stuff like that. But these are the batteries that I'm, I'm choosing to run. Um, it's the same ones I'm running in my electric buggy. Um, they're kind of a good price point is the reason I got them. I think they're around like a hundred and bucks, 110 bucks. So it's not too bad. And of course I had to go with uh, the Tekken, um, you know, EC or ESC and motor. Um, haven't got much run time on the one that's in the truggy, but it seems to be it seems to do pretty good. And the only thing I'm changing from this from my buggy is instead of doing you know because my color scheme is black, red, and white. So instead of you know making the wires match that, I'm just going to go with all black just to keep it a little sleek. And of course, I went and got the black case again, just because the white is going to look like, you know, after a couple runs, you get some dirt on it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I've never used it. I just, I prefer the black case. <laughs> yeah. And of course, a high-tech servo, like always. Um, can't remember exactly which one I'm running. Uh, let's see here. I know I have a case somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, servo that I'm running. Um, but they seem to be doing pretty good. They're, it's not like... You know, a super high end. I think they're around like a hundred and fifty bucks a piece or something like that. So not too shabby. But yeah, I'm basically just going to take everything off of the nitro truggy that we did the electric version on and just put it on this thing. Yeah, guys, that's just a really quick, you know, look at the car and stuff like that. Um, like I said, there was nothing, nothing weird come out of the, you know, weird happen or anything like that. So really nothing to report. But. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything 
Oh yeah, another thing. I'm not going to run the factory body because it is hideous. It is I cannot. Mm. I, the way the body trends go sometimes, I, I don't understand it. All the little funky weird shapes. It's a truggy. It started from the monster truck class. People put buggy parts on them and they become truggy. Leave it trucks. Trucks. Not some weird half cab doom buggy thing. Truck. Truck, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to use... Um, The old body, which is still kind of weird because it's got the little swooping cab. You know, I wish it was more like, you know, the last STRR body. So, yeah. So, on both my electric cars, on the buggy and the truggy, I'm running, you know, the nitro bodies. I just, man, they look so funky. But that's just my opinion. Like, it bothers me so bad, I'm thinking about making my own body mold machine and making my own bodies. So if you guys would support that and want to see that project, let me know because that's something I've definitely considered. I've seen a couple YouTube videos where guys have made their own bodies and it doesn't seem that difficult, which I'm sure, like everything, there's a pretty steep learning curve in there. Anyway, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the body. So, you know, the black wing and the body, that stuff's going to go away. If you're interested, hit me up. And, you know, it'll be the traditional nitro body and a white wing. All right, guys, let me get this stuff you know, on here real quick and let you see the car all together and ready to hit the dirt. Just give me one minute. All right, guys, before we strip this thing down, I figured I'd give you guys a final look at it. Um, it was kind of unfortunate. I really wish I could afford to just buy another, you know, engine and or another motor and speed control and servo and stuff and just keep them both together. But it's a lot of money. So like I said, we're going to take the titanium turnbuckles off this car, which I'll probably just, you know, switch the whole turnbuckle I'll have to mess with it um, of course the uh, ESC and the motor the servo and the uh, my lap you know lap counter uh, that's pretty much it um, and I'll probably take my little wing stay brace off I said this right here you know I'll just basically keep it around as a backup chassis if something happens so I'll have parts or you know if I need to switch a chassis and I'll take my little my little pieces I was talking about, little flush washers, whatever they're called, I can't think of it right now. But yeah. But it's not all going to waste, like I said, I'm going to take this electric conversion and I'm going to try to see if it will work with one of the uh, MP10 buggies. So, probably do that and put like a really, really, you know, big motor and stuff on it eventually and just have like a really nasty buggy to kind of play around and bash with. So, yeah. I don't need two electric truggies for sure. So, you know, if I get a buggy, I can do like some club racing with it or something like that. So I just have something like that just to bash around with. So. But okay, that's enough of me rambling, guys. I just wanted to take one final look at it before we disassemble this really cool conversion. All right, guys, we ran into a small problem. I was just like whining and crying to the camera for like 20 minutes. All right, well, the engine I was running in my Truggy was um, this guy right here. It's the uh, 2250. Um, this is too big. It it won't fit <laughs> where the Kyosho has their engine, their motor placement at. Which really irritates me because it looks like they were just being cheap. And they have the differential in the same location as the Nitro Truggy. And they could have just made different drive shafts and moved it back a little bit and there'd be no issue at all. You could run, you know, probably whatever motor you want. But they didn't do that. But the motor that I have for my buggy is a 2650 kV and it's a way shorter. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, as you can tell right there, it's, you know, shorter by a decent amount. So this big Mamma Jam. As you can tell, it's that's that's not going to fit. It's uh all the way against the steering, and it's it's hitting so just a little bit too big. But that guy will fit. So not going to be able to finish putting the truggy together today. I need to do some research and find out, you know, what engine will fit in here and stuff like that, which I should have done anyway. But I was just assuming that the truggy engine that I bought for the other electric the truggy that I did the conversion on would work too but 
you know, it's not going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to have to order a new engine for this thing or a new motor. God. Anyway, um, I'm going to get it put together as far as I can. And um, in the next video, <laughs> um, I'll show you the engine, show you the car complete, and we'll go hit the track. But that's going to have to wait for another day because, like I said, I can't finish putting it together. It's a bummer, but, you know, it happens, guys. All right, I'm going to go order a motor, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Appreciate you for watching.